852, slow cooker week on today food. What could be easier? Throw the ingredients in, you walk away a few hours later, poof, dinner is served. Elizabeth High School is the debutante farmer. She's here with a hearty southern dish. Elizabeth, good to see you. Good to see you, man. You like slow cookers? You know, I'd never used one until uh, this segment came along. And really? I, fe I feel like I have been cheated. This is the most fantastic way to cook in the entire world. I mean, my life, I didn't realize how incomplete it was, but now it is, it's complete. Let's talk about the ingredients and then let you get your experience here, okay? They're Good. not that complicated. We're making short ribs in the slow cooker and then cheese grits. Absolutely. So we want to make sure that we're going to season this. If we're going to eat both sides, honey, we're going to season both sides. Okay. Now, we're going to go into a screaming hot pan. This pan is as hot as Chelsea so you gotta, Handler. Ah, so we're so going to go gotta brown them first. In. Yeah, exactly. We want to make sure that we get that gorgeous, gorgeous caramelization before we go into slow cooker. Otherwise, it's just, it's not going to be as attractive. It's going to lock in all those juices, and that's what we want. Let's get started so, with your maiden voyage here. Yeah, so we've got, no, 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 no. Now, I'm telling you, I've been testing recipes. Okay. So I know the way of the slow cooker now, but before, I didn't know. I was a virgin. Um, slow cooker virgin, that's what I was, Matt. Um, Let's just go to anyway, the okay, all right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix this together. We've added our flour, and what that's going to do is, um, because we did it with the tomato paste, mm -hmm. it's going to make sure that we don't have any lumps. We're also going to add some um, beef broth. We've got a little bit of red wine, which is fantastic. Now we're going to whisk all this together. Can I mention we've got our tasters downstairs, and I have a feeling they're already digging in on this. Oh, oh, so so good. Some good. Fabulous, fabulous root vegetables. Mm -hmm. We've got our mm -hmm. onions. We have our shallots, carrots, and celery. We're going to just put that in. Mm. All right, Matt, what I want you to do is start working on this rosemary. Stripping if it. You start, oh, see, you do on, know a little something about it. This is not my first it. rodeo okay, here. all right, I got it. All right, I got it. Al, how are these ribs? They are fantastic. Oh, amazing. I mean, just, they, they just, just pull apart. you don't even like, need a knife. Gonna go ahead and, you don't yeah. need a knife. Okay, okay. all right. Fantastic. These over here. All right. Yeah. yeah. Why don't we do this? How Put long are these going to sit them. in here? By we're the way, they go. have to be covered in the in the liquid, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. We want to make sure that we're covering it. If it's not covered, go ahead and add a little bit more liquid to it Let's to pretend. make sure. Okay. All right, so now we're going on. That's going to go four hours on high, eight hours on low, and then we have our beautiful cheese grits. Our ingredient panel over there. Take a look at what goes into this. And this is almost like a grit souffle because we have our egg that's going to really lighten them up. We have some Worcester. We have some hot sauce. We also have a little sherry. Now, if you don't want to put alcohol in your food, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to. You can always substitute a little um, vegetable this. broth, maybe. So, now here we are. We're going to mix this. Mix and mix and mix and It's going to go into a casserole. Grease, casserole, and then we're going into the oven okay. for about one hour. Right. While that's happening, now our short ribs are fantastic. They are completely done. In order to get our sauce even better, yeah. we're going to go ahead and press all of these vegetables that are now so unbelievably tender. See how that's coming out? Yeah, absolutely. Now, if you I just want to review on the grits downstairs. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, it's great. the perfect combination. Beyond. This is yeah. so light. It, light? They're calling light. the grits light. <laughs> that's it. It's like a souffle, um, which is just fancy, fancy, fancy. We love a souffle. Um, so anyway, so we're going to go ahead and take that. Now, this is our gravy. I gotta actually say we're gonna pretend that we've done all that, Elizabeth, with a mouthful I'm saying. Go to the recipe, today.com slash food. We're back after your local news. Hello today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.